Welcome to another episode of I'm Just Saying. I'm your host, MC Enemy. It's I-N-A-M-E. It's not about me. It's about the word of God and the truth on this channel. Don't forget the prayer of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 3, verses 16 through 21. Hopefully it blesses you with understanding and knowledge. All right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about fiction and prophecy. And I have a simple statement here before I get into it. Fiction can simply be prophecy not yet fulfilled. You let that sink in and we're going to go into today's information. So let me tell you a fictional story. I've used present day characters to make it more realistic. The fights and arguments that I depict here are not all military. They are spiritual fights that lead to economic fights and some lead to physical and or military fights. Here is my story. Saudi Arabia is a founding and largest member of OPEC. It's the world's largest oil cartel. Saudi Arabia's King Solomon has had his power usurped by one of his sons. That son is known as MBS, Mohammed bin Salman. The top five oil producers in the world currently are the United States, Saudi Arabia, Russia, Canada, and China, respectively. So they're all in order. The OPEC members are Saudi Arabia, Iran, Venezuela, Indonesia, Iraq, Nigeria, Libya, Algeria, United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Ecuador, Angola, and Gabon. Iran decides that they're going to make an agreement with Russia, but then they lose support of the fellow OPEC member, Saudi Arabia. Years later, Turkey and Russia form an alliance. Iran loses her influence over Russia. Syria is left all alone. When a new ruler in the United States takes over, he removes his army. Turkey will enter Syria and prevail. Some of the Syrian exiles will go to Turkey. The U.S. will leave taking valuable resources with them, not challenging Russia for some years afterwards. Turkey will then return home. China will be motivated to join forces with Russia. They will bring the fight to Syria and it will spill into Iran. But OPEC will be angered and come to fight China and Russia in Iran. The Russian alliance will lose this battle and be weakened by it. Russia will assemble an even larger force, greater than before, the best forces money can buy. At the time, many will stand against OPEC. Many of their members will stand with them but will prove unsuccessful. Russia and China will capture Syria. OPEC will be unable to stop them. Also, Israel will inject themselves with a solution, but it will fail. 
Russia and China will march unopposed into Israel, intent on destroying them. Russia will come and take most fortified cities. OPEC and their local allies, Israel among them, will not be able to stop them. Russia and its allies will set up camp in Israel. Russia and its allies will set its sights on entering the entire kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia will give little girls, getting them raped to form alliances. But those alliances will not be honored. After this, Saudi Arabia will set its sights on the islands of United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Kuwait, Yemen, Oman, Bahrain, and shall take many of them. Mohammed bin Salman, looking out for himself, will reject a ceasefire offer from the Russian allies. That rejection will come back to haunt him. MBS will then turn back to the stronghold of Saudi Arabia, but will disappear and not be found. Then another will rise up in Saudi Arabia. He raises taxes, but shall be destroyed, not in anger or battle. In Saudi Arabia, another shall rise to power. He is an evil person that will not get the honor of king, but will come in peaceably. He will become king by making promises. Then with his air force before him, he will break agreements with the people of Ethiopia. After an alliance is made, he will work deceitfully, but become strong with few people. This unnamed king of Saudi Arabia will enter into the hearts of Ethiopia, heart of Ethiopia with lies and shall pay off people with his stolen wealth. He will set up forces in a fort for a time, plotting to overthrow the government. Russia will make a move against Saudi Arabia with a great army. Saudi Arabia will fight back with a large force, but don't have the weapons to compete. Members of OPEC will cause his defeat. Russia and its allies will prevail in the heart of Saudi Arabia. Many will die. Both of these leaders will be at OPEC meetings, being sneaky, telling lies. But it will not matter. The end will come at the appointed time. Russia will return home with great wealth. He decides to use his, this to his advantage. He sets his sights on Israel on their way home doing much damage. At the appointed time, Russia will come at Israel again. This time will be different. The ships of NATO will come against Russia and they will retreat. Russia will be angered by Europe and the Catholic Church. He will then return after having spies planting amongst them. Russia has superior weapons on their side and will defile the Vatican. Russia will lie, claiming that they will protect the Ark of the Covenant, which is hidden deep within the Vatican. The Pope will cave in. They will make the Temple Mount in Israel the center of religion by moving the Ark of the Covenant there. The Pope will be installed there over all religion. But people that do know their God will be strong and stand against this. Catholic Church leaders will then tell the truth about true Israel, but will die by the sword, fire, captivity, and by being persecuted for many days. When the church is about to fall, they are given divine help. Many will cling to and lie to the church leaders promising help. Some churches will fail the test to test the spirit of others. Other churches will hide to the time of the end because it's for a time yet appointed. The Pope will do what he wants and will place himself above every God and speak wild things against Christ. He will prosper until people are fed up and they will get fed up. The Pope won't respect the God of his fathers or respect Mother Mary or regard any God for he shall magnify himself above all. The Pope will honor demonic forces. 
a God his father didn't know. He will honor them with wealth and earthly things. He shall do this in the temple mount with a strange God whom he shall acknowledge and give more glory. The Pope will rule over many and shall divide the land for gain. And at the time of the end, OPEC will provoke o Russia. Russia will come at them, guns blazing, ships, aircraft, tanks, you name it. Russia will enter through Israel and many countries will be overthrown. Jordan will be spared. Egypt also will feel some of the wrath of Russia. Russia will take over all the Egyptian treasures. Libya and Ethiopia will be in Russia's sights. But rumblings from China and Europe worry Russia so that they adopt a scorched earth attitude. Russia will set up his power base between the sea and Mount Zion, also known as the Valley of Megiddo or Armageddon. The Russian power will come to its end and no one can stop it. Sounds like current events. Right? Would you believe if I told you that this wild story was derived from Daniel chapter 11? So Syria, Syria is a small country in the Middle East. So what's all the fuss about Syria? Here's an article, October 25th, 2019, says the end of Syria's pipeline war. The Russia-Turkey deal establishes safe zones along the Turkish border, and there will be joint Ru Russia-Turkey military patrols. So Syria, what pipeline? What's the big deal? So here is a map of the Middle East, and the red line is showing you a proposed pipeline. This pipeline is running from Bahrain through Saudi Arabia, through Syria, through Turkey, and up into Europe. So you can see Syria is a strategic place. Without Syria, there is no pipeline. The United States has forces in Iraq currently, so they can't bring pipeline this way. It just costs them more money to go that way. So Syria is strategically located. So you see, it's all about getting oil or oil supplies to Europe. Right now, Europe gets their oil supplies from Russia. And Russia does not want competition. So Europe wants control of that pipe of Syria because to become less dependent on Russian oil. OPEC wants control because they want to be the supplier of oil to Europe. And Russia wants control to keep Europe dependent on their oil supplies. So where's the Valley of Armageddon or Har Megiddo if you use the Hebrew tongue? And it's situated here at the foot of Israel's Mount Megiddo. The valley pictured below is believed by many Christians to be the site of the Battle of Armageddon, the final fight of end times before the second coming of Jesus or Yahshua. So here is the Valley of Megiddo. Is Israel. Here's the West Bank, here's Jordan, here is just, you can make out just part of Syria. So let's get a side-by-side -side picture now so you can see how close these things may be. So now here's that same Valley of Megiddo and look at how closely 
close that pipeline is that proposed pipeline so in the beginning I stated the difference between fiction and prophecy so this story I just told you which one is it is it fiction or is it prophecy Maybe it's just a matter of time. So go and read all of Daniel chapter 11 and see how it lines up with this story that I just told you, this fictional story. So after you've read that Daniel chapter 11, I'm going to give you a little taste of what happens next. This is Daniel chapter 12. And the head line on this particular chapter says, the end times. I'm just going to read the first three verses. Daniel chapter 12, verses 1 through 3, New Living Translation. And it reads, at that time, Michael, the archangel who stands guard over your nation, will arise. Then there will be a time of anguish greater than any since nations first came into existence. But at that time, every one of your people whose name is written in the book will be rescued. Many of those whose bodies lie dead and buried will rise up, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting disgrace. Those who are wise will shine as bright as the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness will shine like the stars forever. So what happens next? Go back and watch episode nine of I'm Just Saying. It's entitled TikTok, The Time Is Near. And I tell you what happens next based on the Bible. Here is a link that you can copy, write down, pause this video, write this down, so you can read through that article for yourself about Syria and the oil pipelines that they're proposing to run through the country. And you can see why it's such a strategic hotspot and it's always under attack and, and always strife and arguments there. All right, folks. I thank you guys again for hanging in there with me. I, I, I was absent last week. Um, if you heard my episode two weeks ago, you know my voice was failing and I just didn't get anything um, relevant that I wanted to bring to your attention. I believe the, the Lord just wanted me to rest a little bit. So once again, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you've been blessed by this. If you have, share this link with somebody else. I ask you to click on this, the subscribe button and the bell notification so that the next time a video is released, you will get notified. So don't forget, go ahead and read that Daniel chapter 11 and then go ahead back and watch episode nine. So as always, I want to thank you guys, and I want you to worship the Father, praise the Son, and accept the Holy Spirit. Y'all be blessed. Love you guys. Peace.